Can ChatGPT actually summarize Google Docs? And the answer is yes, but also not directly and not within the Google Docs interface. So the easiest and the most straightforward way is to go ahead and copy your document, command A, and then paste it into ChatGPT, write your prompts. So this is a content guideline that we have for Tactic, and I'm just gonna say summarize this content guideline to new writers. You can also ask ChatGPT to display the summary in different ways. So for example, if you wanna display it in bullet points or on a table, display in bullet points, maximum of 10 bullet points. You can also specify a word count if you want, but for now, I think this is perfect for what I need. Then I'm gonna hit enter and then I'll get the summary. Keep in mind though that manually copying and pasting the content from Google Docs into ChatGPT works well if you have short documents, but if you have longer documents, you might have to break that up into different parts. So that's the thing where a lot of people seek more advanced options. So the second way of summarizing Google Docs is using a favorite automation tool by a lot of remote professionals, which is Zapier. So Zapier actually has a ChatGPT plugin that allows you to connect your Google Doc so it is an advanced option and there are several steps involved and that also means you're already a Zapier user. So make sure to read the description below this video so that you can go to our blog with a step-by-step -step instruction on how to connect Zapier and Google Docs and ChatGPT. The ChatGPT plugin from Zapier is actually a great option if you're willing to add more workflows that's connecting Google Docs and ChatGPT. So it definitely goes beyond summaries. Well, if you're feeling that Zapier is a more advanced option, I've got an even more advanced option that will allow you to use ChatGPT within Google Docs itself. But that means that you have to know your way around API keys because you will need an API key from your chat GPT, generate that API key and put that in into the Google add-on. So there is a Google Docs add-on called GPT for Sheets and Docs. Once you've installed that, you will be able to use chat GPT within Google Docs. And that means that you can summarize Google Docs using chat GPT within the Google Docs interface. Now, this is an advanced option, so there are plenty of steps involved. We've also listed the blog below so that you are able to follow that step-by-step -step if you want a more advanced option. All right, so those are the options that you have for summarizing Google Docs, manual way, and of course the two advanced ways. But most of the time, if you're a remote professional, you actually just want to summarize long meeting transcripts. And that's exactly the last tool that I have for you. And it's super easy. I'm going to show you how. Once you've installed the Google Chrome extension and you've connected your Google Meet, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams, you will have a tactic window over here. You will have the real-time transcription here of everything that's said in the meeting. Once you have the transcript, you can go ahead and go to the transcript page where you will see the full transcript along with the highlights. And now this is the best part because ChatGPT is built in within Tactic. So if you just want a summary, you can just click this button right here and you will have the summary in seconds. So you don't have to go through ChatGPT, copy the transcript and think about the prompts that you wanna use. And voila, as you can see, there is a detailed summary of this meeting and I can also have access to everything that was said by using the full transcript. And I can have other ways to show the meeting summary. So for example, I just want to generate the action items. I can do that as well. And I can create my own custom prompts if I wanna go beyond the simple summary and simple action items. First, go to the Chrome Web Store and search for a tactic GPT meeting summary. Since I've already installed it, it doesn't say install here, it says remove from Chrome, but if you haven't installed Tactic yet, go ahead and click install, sign in with the Google account that you want, and basically you're good to go. So there you have it. Those are the different ways that you can summarize Google Docs using ChatGPT. So the first one is to summarize it manually. It works great, but it doesn't work great for very long Google Docs. There are two advanced options, which is using a ChatGPT Zapier plugin and a Google add-on, but it is a little bit more complicated and it's for more advanced users that are looking for workflows that are beyond the summaries. And if you just want to summarize the transcript of your meeting, of course, 
we have Tactic for you. Make sure to click the link below this video so you can install Tactic. It's free, so you can start using it for your calls and you can use ChatGPT within Tactic to summarize your meetings. What is your favorite method in the comments below? Maybe we are missing some more amazing tips on how you can summarize Google Docs using ChatGPT. We'd love to hear them. And if you want more productivity tips around team meetings, make sure to subscribe to Tactic. My name is Irene Chan and I'll see you in the next video.